In this video, you'll learn about what is belt drive and how it works. Different types of belt drive. Advantages and disadvantages of belt drives. Let's start with the introduction. Belt drives are a type of frictional drives used for transmitting power from one shaft to another by means of pulleys which rotate at the same speed or at the different speed. It consists of two pulleys over which an endless belt is passed over them. The mechanical power or rotary motion is transmitted from the driving pulley to the driven pulley. The portion of the belt which is having less tension is called slack side. And the one which has higher tension is called tight side. The tensions in the tight and slack sides of the belt depend on the angle of contact. The belt drives have to be arranged such that the slack side comes above and the tight side comes below the pulleys. This arrangement increases the angled contact of the belt on the driven side. Sometimes in a belt drive, there is always a possibility of some slipping taking place between the belt and the pulleys which cause the driven pulley to rotate at a lesser speed, consequently reduces the power transmission. Hence belt drives are said to be not a positive type of power transmission system. Types of belts. There are three most commonly used types of belts, which are flat belt, V-belt, and circular belt. Flat belt has a rectangular cross section. These belts are capable of transmitting power over long distances between pulley centers. The efficiency of this drive is around 98% and produce little noise. V belt. V belts are also used with groove pulleys and a trapezoidal in cross section. These belts permit large speed ration and can transmit higher power. And circular belt. This type of belt has a circular cross section and is used with the groove pulleys. Let's see the types of belt drives. There are the five main types of belt drives used in automobile. Open belt drive, cross belt drive, stepped cone pulley or speed cone drive, fast and loose pulleys, jockey pulley drive. Let's see one by one. In open belt drive, the belt is employing when the two parallel shafts have to rotate in the same direction. When the shafts are far apart, the lower side of the belt should be the tight side and the upper side must be the slack side. This is because when the upper side becomes the slack side, it will sag due to its own weight and thus increase the arc of contact. In cross belt drives, the belt is employing when two parallel shafts have to rotate in the opposite direction. At the junction where the belts cross, it rubs against itself and wears off. To avoid excessive wear, the shafts must be placed at a maximum distance from each other and operated at very low speeds. In stepped cone pulley belt drives are used when the speed of the driven shaft is to be changed very frequently as in the case of machine tools such as lathe, drilling machine, etc. A stepped cone pulley is an integral casting having three or number of pulleys of different sizes one adjacent to the other. One set of stepped cone pulley is mounted in reverse on the driven shaft. And an endless belt will be wrapped around one pair of pulleys. In fast or loose pulley belt drives are used when the driven or machine shaft is to be started or stopped whenever desired without interfering with the driving shaft. A pulley which is keyed to the machine shaft is called a fast pulley and run at the same speed as that of the machine shaft. A loose pulley runs freely over the machine shaft and is incapable of transmitting any power. Jockey pulley drive. In an open belt drive arrangement, if the center distance is small, or if the driven pulleys are very small, then the arc of contact of the belt with the driven pulley will be very small, which reduces the tensions in the belt, or if the required tension of the belt cannot be obtained by other means, an idler pulley called jockey pulley is placed on the slack side of the belt. This increases the arc of contact and the tension, which results in increased power transmission. 
Let's see the advantages of the belt drives. Belt drives are flexible, simple in construction, and smooth in the operations. They are efficient at high speeds and protects against overload. The running and maintenance cost of the belt drive is low, and they have relatively long life and easy to work. Let's see the disadvantages of the belt drives. The loss of power due to slip and creep in turn which results in low efficiency. They are not preferred for short center distances. Because of the endlessness of the belt, joints reduce the life of the belt. These are not a positive drive. That's it. Thanks for watching. You can download the PDF file of belt drives from the link in the description.